Okay, and now we start looking at the epic control line versions and the epic control line. The epic control line versions are ready. And General Motors, uh, they're not having available in the military. So the only fix would be your own vision replacement. Now, that's not for the uh, typical guy. You've got to be real careful when you go to take them out of these aluminum arms. You don't want to get a big test and try to pick them out. A lot of guys do in different ways, but uh, the main thing is be very careful how you do it, and it is something you will have to deal with eventually as the rubber goes away, you will find the replacement. Now, General Motors also do that on the lower control line, so you've got to look forward to the upper and lower replacement. So that since it does uh, you know, have a really neat fit that goes up and lower, all the way things in one foot, so take a real good look and really uh, discuss that in some text on how to remove those safely without damaging the control lines with uh, just about none of the pain in the system. So, as we're in this area, we also want to end up here. We've got some big things down here, just like we had on the rear. We've got some big things here that control the spray bar, the spray bar link. And these also go away on this. These by far are going to go quicker than the mountain distance. These do well, but nothing like the spray bar link. And these are giving you some uh, indicators. We have some popping and some draining when you're still in the car right to left. You want to take a look at these and see what kind of condition they are. Now, you'll notice that this bar is the larger diameter than the rear bar. And that's because we've got quite a bit more weight up front. And that's when you know, the stability becomes an issue, so they've gotten the larger diameter. And again, we're going to give you a little text on that exactly why you might want to upgrade to a larger bar or just keep it where it's at.